Hey guys, so I watched a video a while ago, it was, it was a while ago, one of my favourite YouTubers doing a ranking of musical boyfriends um, and I have some strong opinions on that um, so if you want me to redo her list as my list, I will do that if you're interested in something non starkid related. So in the video she chooses, <laughs> there are some musical theatre boyfriends um, that she chooses and ranks them. Um, so <laughs> you can see where I'm going. Um, so I have put together a list of starkid boyfriends, starkid male characters that I am going to rank in, in terms of if I would date them or not. So there's a lot of guys to get through, uh, so if you're really desperate to know of the character, like how I feel about a character that I have not included, just comment them down below and I'll let you know where on the rankings they would fall, or the tiers. Um, so I have separated them out into tiers, like many rankings. Uh, <laughs> so the bottom, butt trumpets. Then it's DCBA, because I could think of a good middle ground one, but if I'm to do something like this again, just comment down below on good middle tier ones to name. But the top one is the duck tier, because duck is lord. <laughs> so let's get into this, quick time, time! So number one, Harry. I feel like I'm slightly biased about this because Harry Potter was one of my fictional crushes I had, Daniel Radcliffe was the first human crush I had, and Harry from A Potter Musical, The Potter Musicals, I should say, is almost like, <laughs> like on the surface, my ideal boyfriend. The fact that it's like, can play the guitar, can sing, it's quite caring, can dance, but it's also like, he can be a little bit of a dick. I still think I'm going to put Harry into duck tier though. They're not all going in duck tier, but just thinking about it, I'm going to put Harry in duck tier, but like, I know, guys. I know. Then Ron. I mean, I love Ron in the music. I mean, he's very, very loyal, very caring. I'm going to put Ron in A. Not, not as good for me as Harry. A lot of this will be gut reaction because I set a lot of these to get through. Joey. I do quite empathise with Sally. I feel like I am Sally in a lot of ways. Um, however, the character of Joey in Me and My Dick is such a prick. I, I mean, that is the point of, that, of his character progression at the start. He, you know, the person he initially disliked and all that. It, my gut reaction is saying A tier. Heart. I am a sucker for a rom-com and a sing and a dance and all that. So heart's ticking a lot of boxes. A little bit of anger issues. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put heart in the duck tier. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Dick. Aside from sticking up for Sally at one point, I really don't. Uh, no. I mean he's not all. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Dick at C. Bug. I, I love Starship. I really love the character of Bug. Aside from the lying thing, I, okay, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Bug in duck tier. Tootsie Noodles! Uh, I mean, there's no discussion here. Tootsie Noodles is duck. I would fight, I would die for Tootsie Noodles. Up. No. 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 <laughs> um, aside from being like a sweetheart, I'm gonna put him D. I can already feel the keyboards smashing. Junior. Yeah, Junior's a butt trumpet. Batman. Gut is saying s B or C. No, I said C. C. It's nothing against the actors. I need to say this now. I am trying to think characters here before any of you kind of go, hey, there's a lot of this actor at the top and this actor at the bottom. It. This is mainly just gut reaction based on the characters. Robin. He's like a kid. Um, <laughs> plus, he irritates me. D. Superman! I, I, I am a sucker for Superman. I'm gonna put Superman in A. Jafar. Oh, right. 
I need to I need to say this. I, I think I've mentioned it before. Um, but Aladdin is my favourite Disney movie. Pretty much hands down. Jafar is my favourite villain. I think he's grossly overlooked as a villain. Um, and Aladdin himself is my favourite Disney prince and was one of my first crushes as a kid. I used to cry every time that Aladdin would go, do you trust me? I used to cry my eyes out. And I went, when the new film, the live action one came out, when I saw it in the cinema, I cried at that line. And I went and saw it on the West End um, on its closing night. And they went, do you trust me? And I started welling up and my sister just looked over at me and was like, seriously? Um, so essentially what I'm saying is I have trust issues. Um, <laughs> No, I, I have a very, very deep love of everything Aladdin. And so when I remember when they announced they were doing Twisted, I was like, oh my God, it's Aladdin and Starkid coming together. Ah. Um, but obviously they kind of turned everything on its head for me. <laughs> um, so getting right back into this, Jafar as a character in, um, for like boyfriend sort of stuff, very, very solid. I think I have to put Jafar in the dark tier, but it sounds so bad. Aladdin, I have to. I have to put Aladdin in butt trumpet. Aladdin is a butt trumpet. Ahmed, because you cannot forget about Ahmed. I can't put him in butt trumpet, he's not that bad. Ahmed is a D. Annie, I think Annie is B. Moff Tarkin, I think C or D. I'm gonna put C. Father, bit of a dick. To be honest, bit of a dick, but le learns lessons does a lot to make up for things. I think a B. Sorry if my I've just noticed on my viewfinder the bit, the picture quality's got a bit weird. So I'm really sorry if it's gone weird. The Bandit King. Gotta be a butt trumpet. Anyway, you slice it really. You gotta look at the character and be like, no, he will kidnap you and try and burn down your like burn your family alive. It ain't good. Don't bring, don't bring my dude home to meet your family. The general store guy, cares a lot, very good at business. I think C. Ducker. I mean, no. <laughs> he does have the dry spot in the cave though, until he decides, you know, everything gotta go to the Ducker. D. He'd be happy to be in D. Grunt. Grunt is a sweetie. Dumbass. And he can draw. He can draw. I think A. Smelly balls! I think smelly balls in B for like no reason. Paul doesn't like musicals and that I mean that stings a bit. That that won't it doesn't bode well for our future. It's, I'm trying to look at the list and be like, is like better? Better? Um I think C. C's right for Paul. Middle middle ground. Bill. I love Bill. Like so much as a character. I don't think he's like A or duck tier for me. What is he? I'm gonna go A. Bill's an A. Ted. Ted's a butt trumpet. Ted's a butt trumpet. Professor Higgins. He's a butt trumpet. Ethan. Ethan's not duck for me. He's not A. Yeah, I think B. Tom. I think Tom is gonna go in duck tier. Like he's a sweetie, he's a good dad. Let's ignore nightmare time for now. <laughs> so here we go. So these are my official rankings. Let's go bottom to top. So at the bottom in the butt trumpet category, we have Junior, Aladdin, McDoon, Ted, and Higgins. Then in D, got Up, Robin, Ahmed, Ducker, C, Dick, Batman, Moth Tarkin, General Store Guy, and Paul. And then B, Annie, Father, Smelly Balls, Ethan, A, Ron, Joey, Superman, Grunt, Bill, and the best of the best for me in Duck Tier got Harry, Hart, Bug, Tootsie, Jafar, and Tom. These rankings may change when I have time to think about them a bit more. <laughs> but do let me know down below uh, which one you're most annoyed at and why where would you put Ethan? Oh uh, this was this was surprisingly a lot of fun if you want me to do something like this again please let me know and stay sure you
Eve, see what winter brings. Jingle, jangle, pass, we're springle.